what's going on YouTube. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I dropped a video. Probably about like six, seven months. I just didn't know if I wanted to do YouTube anymore. I'm sorry, you guys. It's been, I'm sorry. But we're gonna do a little bit of things differently on this YouTube channel now. Instead of doing like the full cut, you know, showing you guys the full cut, blah, blah, blah. I'm only gonna show you guys like bits and pieces of the cut, like back taper or side taper. Not gonna do both, you know? It kind of generalizes on one area of the head. So this is me saying thank you guys a lot. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or anything, you know, you guys have my Instagram. You guys know my Instagram. You guys can drop a comment down below whatever you guys like, okay? I have been active on Instagram, posting you know, little, little reels on um, IG. Stay tuned, you guys. Something new is coming. And if this, do, if this goes well, best believe you're gonna see me more, all right? Take it easy, guys. I miss y'all, I miss y'all so much. Goodbye. What's up y'all we back <laughs> i know we back so i'm coming out my client's hair right here because you always want to come out the client's hair before you cut because you want to see the, the pattern of the hair and also you don't want to like like it, i was told in barber school you want to comb the hair out before so that way they don't have like any like lice or any like anything wrong with their scalp I don't know if that's true, but I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> We're doing a four on top all around. We're eventually do a ball fade. So make sure that you give it all evenly and um, just go over it a bunch of times. Always go over it, comb, go over it, comb it out, comb it out, comb it out. already went ahead and did the ball line. I kept it low so that way you can see the arch when we line it up and I dipped it right underneath the upside bone. If you don't know what that is, it is the bone, you know, the little bump bone you feel at the back of your head. Yeah, that's the occipital bone. So I made the guy line, my first guy line with the lever all the way open with the style crafts. They're kind of similar to the magic clips and also the seniors. I made sure to make my, my first guy line finger length about a half inch to an inch. If you don't know what that is, if you grab a regular comb, there is numbers on the side of the comb. That's how you should know how, you know, how wide to make your first guideline. So I have my Andis T outliners, my cordless ones, and I'm kind of like flicking out that bottom line. So that way when I go in, lever all the way close, it, the, the line should just be gone, right? Because I know a lot of people, they don't like, you know, when they, they close it and the line's still there. So right here, I'm just eliminated that way. So we are going to do our lever all the way closed right here, just to take out that bottom line. I like doing the technique of using the corners and then playing with the lever a lot. So we do we do close, halfway open, close, halfway open. You wanna play with it just as much as you can so that way you have the feel for what, like how you wanna cut hair. Everybody has their own little technique. Um, I suggest you guys find yours, but in the meantime, let's do close, lever, and then halfway open, halfway open. So for our second guideline, we are using the magnetic guard that it already comes with. This guard comes with the Stylecraft once you purchase the clipper. We are making the second guy line about an inch to another half an inch, just like how we did it before. And make sure that you're following the same type of um, angle that you did from your previous guy line. You wanna make sure that it's all angled right, so that way it gives it that drop fade look. Make sure and also make sure that the, the, the guy line is straight. You don't wanna make it uneven on some sides, so just make sure that it is straight, you guys. So on this step, we are going to do the best part of the haircut, the blending. At my zero guard, 
you're gonna have the lever all the way open to take out that dark spot right there the reason i have the zero open is so that way that way i can see what the guard will do because some people's hair is differently so i want to see what it'll do because i don't think it'll take it out completely so what it'll do is lighten it up and then i can go in close at, or halfway and just play with the lever that way um, i don't want to make it use my lever all the way close and then it makes like another you know hard line and i'm like man okay so you want to open it up at first just to see what it'll do and if it does lighten up then you blend down from there you guys On this one we have our clipper comb and we're gonna do the clipper over comb one of my also my favorite things to do in a haircut because it saves so much time and it creates a shape that a haircut needs some people they don't you know make a shape to the haircut and it doesn't look that right so I'm creating a shape while also blending you know so how we do it is we have the comb and we have it straight up at, at an angle try not to dig into the person's you know scalp or head um you want it to kind of flare out so i i try i have my lever open i don't ever close it because if you do close it i do think that you might mess up and you know take a chunk out of somebody's hair because i've done that before in barber school uh, scare <laughs> barber <laughs> barber school my bad i had a tongue twist barber school i've done that before and i didn't i didn't like that so I always had the guard all the way open and I just went up from there. So right here, we're going to do the arch on the lineup. I have my hitters. I love these clippers. These, these liners are the best. I feel like they're my, my best liners I've ever had. They are the babyless liners. Um, so what you want to do is you want to start from the top and then kind of angle it down to see like these i don't really know how to explain these um just make sure you use the corners line and make sure you try not to dig in to the person's you know head because you don't want to cut them so just make sure that you use the corners and you use you do it lightly try to cut the hair not the skin i'm gonna say that again try to cut the hair not the skin So for the front lineup right here, I use hairspray to lay the hair down and kind of harden it up so that way when I do the line, it'll just be extra crisp. I'm starting from the middle and then working my way from the right side or left side. It doesn't really matter, but just make sure you start from the middle so that way when you do do the lineup, it'll all meet in the middle and one side isn't you know jacked up than the other or one side isn't higher than the other. So I always make sure to start from the middle and I work my way from there because like I said, it, it, it'll it make it much easier because you want the lineup to be straight in the middle. So make sure that you do that way. But I put it this way. Everybody's not the same as me. So you find out your own technique. I just hope that this, this technique will help. You don't have to try this one, but everyone has their own technique. Just try this one. If it doesn't like, if you don't like it, you can always try another one. You know, I'm just trying to help you guys out. So the video is about wrapped up. Thank you guys for staying with me throughout these years that I've been doing my YouTube. I appreciate it a lot. My Instagram will be on the top. I also do TikTok, same as my Instagram, but look at this fresh cut, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Arlen, and I'm out.